Well, back on the news side of things this evening, can you remember the last time it rained? The warm weather and dry conditions, as Bill alluded to, can actually lead to some dangerous conditions. News I Now's Dua Israr is live in Stoddard to explain why some areas are currently under a burn ban. Hey, Dua. Ken, it is a wonderful day out here today, but that grass tells us a different story. When it's brown and dry like that, it means it's extremely flammable. Paired with some high wind speeds, that's a recipe for some pretty serious blazes, and that's why the Wisconsin DNR is prohibiting all outside fires. The poem goes, April showers bring May flowers. This is a good example of our relative humidity is down. In most of southern Wisconsin, there are no April showers. Uh, we're looking at near to record temperatures by the time we get towards uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Just a whole lot of sun. So when you have very warm temperatures, combination of dry air, um, these grasses dry out rather quickly. With dry temperatures, the chances of a fire are high. It takes a couple of hours for these grasses that are dead to uh, quickly become flammable. Even the smallest ember can turn into a blaze. Sometimes it could be just debris or discarded cigarettes or burning materials that are kind of blown out from their original source. Warm temperatures and dry grass aren't the only culprits you have to watch out for. With any wind behind it, it's very, very hard to get ahead of it. It's very hard to control it. That's why the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources says check for burn bans in your area before setting a fire. It's as simple as the name. Burning anything outside is banned. If it's high, very high or extreme, those are not conditions that you want to be burning in. As for signs from Mother Nature, you can kind of tell when that season is winding down because everything starts greening up. Wait for the grass to get greener. Now the La Crosse Fire Department says the best practice is preventative measures. You can use things like a rake or a garden hoe or even a shovel like our friend Smokey here to dig a barrier into the ground to contain that fire. Now if that fire spreads, the first thing that you should do is call the fire department. The La Crosse Fire Department says it's much easier to contain that fire when it first starts rather than when it expands. Reporting live in Stoddard, the USR News 8 Now, Ken, back to you. You. Dua, thanks very much. And to check if your area is under a burn ban, you can go to Wisconsin DNR's website. We've got the link posted on news8000.com.